What's going on folks, Neg96 here bringing you another video. Wanted to showcase a quick Act 1 Elite that we were actually able to pull off with the RTA squad, myself, and I'm an island, Raver, and Virus. We had a pretty good play over here. Knitting uh, one of my new personal bests, of course. Now, um... I haven't been able, or actually, yeah, I haven't been able to beat my time ever since, ever since I pretty much started doing RTAs, honestly, so this was about, you know, three years ago, two years ago, my uh, former record used to be at 259, but ever since we did this over here, spend a little more time with the team, seeing you know, which members complement each other more in terms of play style and strategy, we began to sort of formulate something that works better for each and every one of us. You know, we all have our own strengths and weaknesses. In this run, you'll see here momentarily, I'm going to be tagging along with Raver, going along in his Vigilante, as you see here. Well, none now in virus go off in there. If you notice here, Raver did have a bumpy start going to the first boost, but he then recovers onto the straight road here, going right to the facility. See guys, you don't necessarily need a double boost in the air to be able to pull off a fast and clean and well executed run. You just need to be able to get there within the same time frame. You know, boosting in the air does save you the trouble of landing and then boosting onto the road. So it does save a little time there, provided you get a clean landing after the initial, you know, the, the double boost into the air. Now, myself and Virus, you know, we're the full rushes of the team. Virus is doing a weapon swap rush while I'm... Uh, the secondary rush over here. I'm trying to take away from some of Virus's fire as he rushes across. While uh, Nana Nylon and Raver, they're both the cleaners of the run. Now, Virus went ahead, he's on grenade launcher duty while I stayed at the blip over here for I want to say four to five seconds. Um, you know, I did that over there so we can have guaranteed spawns on the third floor because sometimes those spawns do tend to be delayed especially if you're not the host of the run now over here virus had a rather quick grenade and i came in on the third and assisted his clearing the um a rifle fire now the other members of the team they got done with their clears and we all met we all rendezvoused at the final war room the final objective of the mission so the play over there was pretty clean I did take a little more time to clear at the stragglers in the third room so you know a fast time does ultimately end up coming to the initial grenade members RNG how well they're able to you know execute their strategy and um, how quickly we're able to rendezvous with the other members up to the war room. So those are all factored into the final run. That there was the end of the run over there. And, you know, looking back, it was executed rather smoothly, I'd have to say. I'm going to go ahead and link the other members' POVs in the description down below. So, you're always more than welcome to check that out. And as always, folks, um, if you like Neg96 content, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Stay posted for the next runs coming up ahead. They'll be good ones.
Over here we finally got the pass screen awaiting the elite timer results. On an island the host of our run did go ahead and close up so he could save the finale for future attempts. But here we got a 244 in the elite timer with 84 enemies taken down and also done in one life. We satisfied the three criterias for the elite challenge and we got a new team PB together. The power of friendship, ladies and gentlemen. All right, y'all take care. That was uh, today's run. Thank you.